Okay, so we're going to look at installing a backflow preventer. Uh, once again, check your local laws and regulations on plumbing. Sometimes this is a, a phase that a licensed plumber needs to do, but every city and state code is different. In our case, we need a backflow preventer. Some need a more uh, complicated backflow preventer, uh, more sophisticated. Um, ours is a fairly simple requirement, so we're going to go ahead and put a, a brass backflow preventer in. Um, this is a threaded backflow preventer, so we're going to tighten our threaded fittings into each side. Make sure they're fairly tight. You don't necessarily have to put these in a vise to tighten them because you can actually break the pipe by doing that. So as long as you are uh, putting the Teflon tape onto the threads and, and tightening, it, tightening it fairly tight, you should be fine. And this is our main, this is what's going to our main water line. So once you've got it um, taped and tightened, then we're just going to glue those fittings right onto the Schedule 40 PVC. Once again, always clean before and glue next once the cleaner is dried. And so I've got an open end on one end to let the plumber attach that right into our main line. And don't forget to always check your direction. There should be an arrow on your backflow preventer to tell you which direction the water flow is meant to go. And that's backflow preventer. And now I'm just going to show you where we're going to connect into our main water line. And um, our licensed plumber has made our connection for us. 